Welcome back to another candid session of Drone Business Strategy Magazine, where we seamlessly blend straight up, street smart strategies with scholarly insights to empower and inspire your professional aerial ambitions. And now, here's our navigator, business strategist, and commercial drone pilot, Tony Marino. Welcome to this edition of Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast style. Marino with you here today. Glad to have you on board. And we're going to talk about a topic that is all about brand building, brand fortification, customer loyalty, people buy from who they like. Pure and simple. When was the last time you purchased something from somebody you just did not like? You, you'll you'll draw two car dealerships, both selling Hondas. Why do you choose one over the other? Because you like one over the other. They both sell the same car. They both have a service drive. They both have a parts department. They both have sales reps and managers and et cetera and et cetera. The same. You pick one over the other because you like it better. So this is about being likable as we talk about the drone pilot brand pyramid. Now, the pyramid, the brand pyramid is something that has been around for a while in the, in the world of scholars. And it focuses primarily on creating profound connections between your brand and your drone service clients. It was originally crafted by Millward Brown, Millward was a renowned marketing research firm, and the model itself really showcases uh, five essential stages that clients traverse as they develop a relationship with your brand, or any brand for that matter, as they're becoming acquainted, right? There's that awareness factor that has to say, they have to know you're there. They have to, they have to see your product. You, know, you can create the greatest widget in the world, but if you hide it under your bed, no one's ever going to buy it because they don't even know it's available. So picture an inverted pyramid, upside down pyramid, with each level representing a significant milestone in your client's journey toward c uh, complete loyalty. Okay, that's what we really want. So let's talk about that for a minute. As we move through the steps, which are presence, uh, relevance, performance, advantage, bonding, okay? So we kind of know what the pyramid's really designed to do. Let's talk about each one of these levels. So at the first level, level one at the base of the pyramid, your clients are aware of your brand, but they have no emotional attachment, okay? They've seen your banner ad. They've seen your YouTube short. They've seen your TikTok video. They've seen your newsletter, right? They've seen, you know, they've seen the works, but there's really no emotional attachment at this point. I mean, they may even have used your service, but it's more transactional than it is emotional. So the next level in going up the upside down pyramid is the client begins to assess if your brand aligns with their needs and expectations. Uh, questions about cost versus values start to surface. And does your brand fit their needs, their budget, and is it worth it? Then the next level is performance. The client compares your brand performance with your competitors. And then they recognize your brand more often and start including it in their consideration set. So your brand is kind of moved to a short list, but there's more work to be done. And thus we move to the next level, which is level four. That's advantage. Clients finally recognize the unique advantages of your brand over others. Emotional connections are starting to form as your brand becomes intertwined with their identity. It's far more than just flying the drone, right? Mastering the skies, capturing breathtaking aerial shots, getting out, it's building the bonds because you know it's a lot less expensive to get repeat business than it is to go out and seek new clientele. 
right? They've already tried you. So now it's time to really build that brand, fortify that brand. So from advantage, we move to the bonding state, which is level five, which is kind of the top drawer front page, creme de la creme. It's the pinnacle. Clients have a deep emotional bond with your brand. They believe your brand perfectly aligns with their needs and values. And values, not just the needs and the values now. The world has become more value-based. Mm-hmm. Where are your values? They've made your brand an integral part of their identity, and they are likely to advocate for it within their social and professional circles. So there's that bonding level. So why should commercial drone pilots care about the brand pyramid? Well, because it translates into tangible benefits. Research demonstrates that customers are willing to pay more for brands they truly love. Remember, I started the program today talking about being likable. By understanding where your client sits on the brand pyramid, you gain insights into the strength of their connection with your brand. Now, armed with this knowledge, you can devise strategies to nurture these relationships even further. And the five stages of the brand pyramid that I just covered offer a structured approach to enhancing client loyalty. As a drone pilot, this means that we can tailor our marketing efforts to guide our clients through these stages, fostering stronger bonds along the way. Uh, think customer loyalty programs, uh, targeted marketing campaigns, and strategies that resonate deeply with your audience. So how do we use the brand pyramid to build drone service customer loyalty? Well, the first is First couple of levels there are presence and relevance, levels one and two. So initially, here's what we want to do. We want to focus on building brand awareness and relevance. Why does it matter? Why do we matter? Craft marketing strategies using the four Ps, product, price, place, promotion, right? The four Ps of the marketing mix. Uh, I've written an article on that. You can find more on that at aerialnorthwest.com. Go into our blog strategy platform once you're there and help yourself to all the free goodies. Well, anyway, the four piece marketing mix this will help to enhance your brand's presence. Understand your diverse client groups and employ segmentation to tailor offerings to their specific needs. Now, moving to performance, which is level three, to reach this stage, you want to demonstrate that your brand outperforms competitors. You want to emphasize the benefits of your brand over its features, right? Features, benefits. Conduct a unique selling preposition analysis, which is what makes you special, and highlight what makes your brand uniquely valuable. And then finally, how to use the brand pyramid to build drone service customer loyalty. Number three is advantage and bonding. These are levels four and five on the pyramid. How do we do it? Well, we communicate the added benefits of our brand, whether it be price, quality, environmental friendliness, or even emotional uh, resonance, right? So develop a brand culture, strengthen your identity through impactful marketing, and keep brand loyalty high with exclusive incentives for your most ardent advocates. So here's Here's an example. Okay, this is an example. This is John. We're just going to go with John here. Drone pilot brand pyramid scenario. John's a skilled commercial drone pilot, and he's looking to expand his drone services business. He's been providing drone services for a while, capturing stunning aerial imagery and data for various clients. However, John has noticed that while clients appreciate his work, they often choose his services based on factors like cost and convenience. He wants to take his business to the next level by creating lasting client relationships where clients not only choose him for the job, but genuinely become loyal to his brand. So how does he go about doing this? Well, he's going to apply the brand pyramid in this way. Number one, in presence level one, Initially, John's clients are aware of his drone services, 
but there's no strong emotional connection. They hire him when they need aerial shots, but it's more of a, a transaction. Number two, relevance, level two. To move up the brand pyramid, John starts assessing what his clients need. How does he do? Well, he listens to their requirements and provides tailored solutions. You might also consider pricing a pricing model that fits their specific budget, ensuring that his services are worth the investment. Number three, performance. John begins highlighting the superior performance of his drone services. Uh, He showcases his technology and skills and how they outperform the competition, demonstrating that his brand is a top choice for quality aerial work. And clients start recognizing his brand more often. Advantage, which is number four, clients now see unique advantages in choosing John's brand. Uh, They appreciate the personalized service, the consistent high quality results, and the reliability. Uh, Emotional connections begin to form as clients feel that John's brand aligns with their needs and values, as we mentioned earlier. And finally, five, level five, this is the pinnacle John aims to reach. Clients have developed a deep emotional bond with John's brand. They not only only hire him for drone services, but actively recommend his services to others. And his brand becomes part of their identity, and they feel a strong sense of loyalty. So you see how it works. So the benefits of the brand pyramid. John's benefits from this approach are propagated in these ways. Increased revenue. Clients who have bonded with his brand are willing to pay more for services. Next, word-of-mouth marketing. Loyal clients become brand advocates, promoting John's services to their networks. Right? You do something good, somebody tells 10 friends. Screw it up, they'll tell a 1,000. <laughs> Repeat business. There's another benefit of the brand pyramid. Bonded clients keep coming back, reducing the need for extensive marketing efforts to find new clients. We even talk a little bit about that at the beginning of the program today. And then finally, differentiation. John's brand stands out in a competitive market due to the emotional connections it creates. So John effectively applies the principles of drone pilot brand pyramid to transform his drone service business by understanding the stages of client brand relationships and implementing uh, strategies at each level He not only elevates his brand, but also experiences measurable professional growth and success in the drone services industry. So the drone pilot brand pyramid is not just a concept. It's a dynamic strategy that empowers us as commercial drone pilots to build enduring client relationships. It's the key to turning our clients from occasional users into fervent advocates for our brand. It's my understanding the brand pyramid and employing these principles. You too can set your drone business on a trajectory of success. One bonded client at a time. So aspire to elevate your brand and watch as your clients become not just clients, but loyal brand enthusiasts, raving fans, propelling your career to new altitudes of professional enrichment. And we see the, that the asset of all that, the value of all that, right? So I hope that you've taken something good away from this. I hope it continues to help and encourage and enrich your professional drone service efforts out there. Uh, fly happy, fly amazing, fly confidently. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for this program. If you found it helpful, Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel, too, for future updates. Love you very much, and uh, make it a great day. I'll see you soon. And that's a wrap for today's high-flying wisdom on the Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast. Pre-planned for ambitious drone pilots like you. 
as we tie down another session of seamlessly blending street smart strategies with scholarly insights to empower and inspire your professional aerial ambitions remember your journey is your destination for more drone business strategy information and valuable resources be sure to explore aerialnorthwest.com stay tuned for more aerial adventures and strategic brilliance exclusively on the drone business strategy magazine podcast until next time keep those dreams flying high